So this is the Language Learner Literature Awards, the winners for uh, 2020. Um, first of all, the purpose of the Language Learner Literature Awards is to recognize excellence in books for language learners. Um, and to increase the understanding of graded readers as a valid literature, much the way that children's literature or young adults books are recognized as genres. Um, how it works is every December, publishers worldwide submit the books they want to nominate. And all of the books are juried by an international review team made up of both first language and bilingual readers. And it's actually weighted toward non-native readers since that's who the books are, are actually for. Um, in the process, the judges decide on up to three finalists per category. And those are announced um, in the spring. And there's internet voting, including readers' comments um, from roughly the beginning of April through the end of June. And then the judges um, make the, the final decision informed by the voting, not determined by, but informed by um, the voting and the reader's comments. And um, so I'm very happy to announce the winners tonight. In the very young learners category, we had three finalists, the Golden Fish from Usborne, um, Here Come the Unicorns from AAS Press, and I Can't Sleep from Helbling. And the winner is, drum roll please, the winner is Here Come the Unicorns. And um, Adam Cardos, who's actually here with us tonight, um, will make a statement, a video uh, recorded statement. To save the world, here come the unicorns. <laughs> Uh, wouldn't it be nice if the unicorns would come and save the world now? Well, uh, I'm Adam Cardos, author of Here Come the Unicorns. When we originally wrote this story, uh, it kind of echoed the battle uh, that was going on to save the rainforests in the Amazon, uh, but it seems even more relevant nowadays. At AAS Press, we want to get kids reading, thinking, and imagining. We want them to be smarter than us and to make better decisions. Thanks to everyone at the Extensive Reading Foundation, Thomas Robb, Mark Helgensen for this great opportunity. Uh, also thanks to all of the jurors, uh, the teachers and the students who voted for our books all around the world. Uh, finally, thanks to everyone who contributed to making Here Come the Unicorns. I hope you can all follow AAS Press's story as we continue to grow in the future. Thank you very much. Okay, and congratulations, Adam. Next category is Young Learners, and again, three finalists. The Elves and the Shoemaker um, from Usborne, The Sick Dragon from Helbling, and Visit, me, Visit St. Petersburg with me from Ellie. And the winner is The Elves and the Shoemaker, um, and here, retold by Laura Co Cohen, and here to... Uh, Hello, I'm the series editor on Osborne English Readers, and I'm delighted to accept this award on behalf of Osborne Publishing. I'd like to thank the judges, the teachers and students for choosing The Elves of the Shoemaker. It's been a real pleasure to work on this series over the years, and I feel very lucky to work with so many talented editors, designers, fabulous illustrators, and our dedicated and supportive export sales team. I also owe huge thanks to Peter Viney, our English language consultant, for his invaluable expertise, advice, and attention to detail. Osborne has always been about making books irresistible to children, and in The Elves and the Shoemaker, Laura Cowan and Olga Demidova have done us proud. Thank you. Okay, and congratulations. And, and Osborne is with us here tonight, by the way. Um, the next category, Adolescents and Adults, Beginning Level, Beginner's Level, um, The Silver Statue from Oxford University Press, and um, Skeleton Island from ILTS Huber. And uh, we have a video from the author, or, and the winner is um, Silver Statue by Paul Shipton. And Paul Shipton has sent us a uh, video statement. Um, Paul Shipton. I'd like to thank the Extensive Reading Foundation for this award, and a big thank you to everyone who voted for it. 
My thanks also to the team at Oxford University Press for all their terrific work on this book. I got the idea for the silver statue when I realised that whatever city in the world I happened to be visiting, there was always one of those living statues somewhere in the city centre. I've always found them fascinating and a little bit weird. I also really wanted to write a story about music and musicians. In fact, when I was a teenager, so a long time ago, I really wanted to be a drummer. I never achieved that ambition, but perhaps writing a story about a drummer was the next best thing. Anyway, I very much hope that students will enjoy reading this story as much as I enjoyed writing it. Thank you. Okay, and thank you, Paul, and congratulations. Next category, Adolescents and Adults Elementary Level. Um, the finalists are Ellis Island, Rosalia's Story by Janet Hardy Gould, um, Naoko, My Japan from Ellie, and Wonder from Black Cat. And the winner is um, Rosalia, Ellis Island, Rosalia's Story by Janet Hardy Gould, who happens to be with us this evening. And Here's her statement. Hello, I'm Janet Hardy Gould, and I live here on the south coast of the UK, not far from this beautiful place behind me, the Seven Sisters. Um, I'd just like to say how honoured I am to receive this Language Learner Literature Award for um, my book, Ellis Island, Rosalia's Story. Um, I'd like to thank the Extensive Reading Foundation for organising the awards, um, the judges, and all the readers who took part in the voting process. Um, I'd also like to say thank you to everybody at Oxford University Press Graded Readers. It's always a pleasure to work with such outstanding editors. And a final thank you to Thomas Girard for his wonderful illustrations. The story is set in the past, in um, the year 1910, and it's about the adventures of a teenage girl, um, Rosalia, um, on her voyage with her family from the Italian island of Sicily um, across the ocean to um, Ellis Island in New York Harbour. At its heart, it's about um, a story of, um, of the hopes and fears of migrants searching for a new life. And um, it's also about young people looking to a better future. Um, I hope you enjoy reading the book. Thank you. Okay, congratulations, Janet. And, um, okay, adults in Adolescents and Adults Intermediate category. The three finalists are The Earth Keepers from Ellie, Diary um, from iTalk Utah Press, and Robinson Crusoe from Innova. And the winner is The Diary by Heather Dixon. And here's Heather to talk about it. Hello, I'm Heather Dixon, a co founder of iTalk Utah Press. I'm honoured to have won the Language Learner Literature Award in the Intermediate category with my book, The Diary. I'd like to thank the Extensive Reading Foundation and everyone who voted for the book. Italk Utah Press is a relatively new company. We've been in business for seven years. From the start, we decided to publish original contemporary fiction and The Diary falls into that category. I first had the idea for The Diary five years ago, but only sat down to write it last year. I started with the idea of someone finding a diary on the street and the story grew from there. I hope people enjoy reading it as much as I enjoyed writing it. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Heather. And actually, Heather tried to uh, come to the meeting tonight, but wasn't able to get in. And I'm sure we've all learned to deal with technology problems like that. Um, and, and finally, adolescents and, and adults, the, the upper, intermediate and advanced level uh, the finalists are The Age of Innocence from Helbling, The Box from I Talk You Talk Press, and Not Without You um, from Oxford University Press. And the winner is um, The Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton, but retold by Nora Nagy. And um, Helbling did something interesting. Rather than send a video, they sent something for you to read, which I thought is very appropriate for an ER seminar. So I'll let you read it on your own.
And thank you and congratulations. By the way, past winners and finalists in the awards have included just about everybody. So you can see it's it's a very, graded reading is a really rich uh, source of, of uh, reading materials. Um, this is put on by the Extensive Reading Foundation. Our uh, website is, is erfoundation.org. By the way, during Paul's, during, um, uh, Paul Nation's session, the question came up, you know, what if we don't have readers? What if we can't afford them? On the Extensive Reading Foundation's uh, homepage, there are links to well over 200 books that you can access for free. So please check that out. And I'll mention next year um, in, in Joe Jakarta will be the sixth World Congress on Extensive Reading, uh, August 9th to 13th. Hope you'll consider it. I know many of the people organizing tonight are from Jogjakarta, um, but many of you are from other parts of Indonesia. So if you haven't visited Jogjakarta and seen um, Borobudur Temple, which t in my mind is one of the most stunning temples I've ever been to anywhere, and um, uh, Prambanan Temple, there's a lot to see there and in addition to all of the wonderful uh, sessions at the world congress there will be educational trips to to various places like that so thank you for the opportunity to present the awards tonight and um thank all of you for coming thank you very much